Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a CCTV camera that follows the player, like so. It keeps looking at the player and moves around. No matter where he goes. You can change a couple settings like the speed that it rotates and all that. So yeah, let's get started. Let's first create a script. I'll create a new one. And let's open it. Okay, let's start by creating a couple of variables here. Let's start with a serializable field, private, transform, player. This will be our reference to our player position. And we need another one. For the part in the camera that rotates, I'll call it rotation, uh, rotating horizontal part. Let's create uh, another one, float rotation speed, I'll set it to default to 0 0.3, but you can also change it in the inspector, it's up to you. We also need a bool follow player and another serializable field, bool insta lock. I'll set it also to true. I will explain what this does later on. And that's actually all that we need for the variables. So let's start on the start function. First we try to find a player. So if transform.find player. This has to be the name of your player in game. If you name it other thing, you need to change it. My player is named player, so this works for me. So if we can find the player, our player is equal to the transform.find player. So we get a reference to the player. And if installoc our rotation horizontal part, transform, look at player. So if we have instalock, uh, when the scene starts, the camera instalocks to the player instead of rotating from where, wherever it is. You can activate or deactivate it in the inspector, this option. Okay, let's move on to the update function. So if follow player, First, we need to determine the direction in which we need to rotate. So, vector, sorry, vector 3. Target direction is equal to player dot position minus a new vector 3 rotating horizontal part dot position dot x. Now I'll be adding an offset here. I'll show you why later. Uh, actually I'll be adding that offset to all axis. So rotating horizontal part dot position dot z sorry dot y first y plus 3.5 f rotating horizontal part position dot z plus 0 0.3 f yeah this values here it's so the camera doesn't look directly at the player otherwise it's a bit weird in my opinion but you can play with it if you don't want it just remove this and it will look directly at the player eyes 
Okay. Now like next line. Maybe this is better for you to see. Okay. Now we need the speed. So float single step is equal to our rotation speed times time dot delta time. Now we need vector three, new direction will be equal to our vector three dot rotate towards horizontal part forward target direction single step 0 0.0 f here it's target direction here it is like so this is the part that we'll be looking at the player it's the forward axis uh, depending on your model you might need to change it to maybe minus or up but in my case it's forward And finally, we need uh, to make it rotate actually. So rotating horizontal part dot transform dot rotation is equal to quaternion dot look rotation new direction. And the hard part is actually done. Now we just need to make it look only if it's in range. So it doesn't keep to follow the player until oblivion or whatever. So void on trigger stay wider other so if the player is inside our collider let, first let's check it if it's our player so other.name player again if you have other name for the player you need to change it here mine it's player All a player equals true, and then we can copy and paste this on trigger. Is it if the player is it's our trigger? We say false. We don't follow it anymore. And that's actually all for the script. Now let's go back to Unity and implement this on our model. Uh, now inside Unity, here's our model for the camera. It has a box collider. Uh, that box collider means if the player is inside it, it will follow the player. If the player moves outside it, it will stop following him. I have it just around this room. There's no point in falling outside it. Now, my camera has two parts. It has these two that are fixed, never rotate. And then I created the uh, empty transform and I placed the part that I want to rotate inside it. So I want it to just rotate the camera, not the stand. So I just created the em empty and I placed it inside like so. Now we also have a box collider, it has to be triggered, don't forget that. Now let's add the, our script. First we need to drag our player, then we rotate our part, 0.3 speed, it, it's fine. And then there's insta lock, so it starts looking at the player, so if I play, you can see it insta locks on the player. And then, then it follows him around. Now, if we go to the script and we remove the offset, like so, and then we try it again. It will be looking directly at the player eyes and you can quite make out what's what's looking at. 
I don't know, it's a bit weird, but it's up to you. You can just change it. So yeah, that was all for this tutorial. It's quite simple how you can create a camera that follows you around. I will leave a, a model for it if you want on my Discord. It's not this one, it's another one that I made. But if you want a model, just ask me on Discord and I will give it to you. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one.